All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, Pan45. Ulick, <laughs> Lucas, the big noob, the cool boy, Barat. Second, you are not, you are far from second. You're like fifth. Hello, Bjorn. I'm gonna call you Bjorn though. <laughs> uh, hey, Ricky. All right, let's uh, let's see what uh, what world we spawned into. Today we're gonna be doing uh, some some simple stuff. I have another mod pack update. It's already live, by the way. Not the mod pack beta, okay? Don't it don't get too excited about the mod pack beta yet. Uh, it's just the mod pack. There's this new rubber block. It's high friction. If you, but which by the way, if you haven't seen, there's already the 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 smooth ice and icy rocks. That's already public too. All this all, all the mod pack stuff is public. Mod packs all up to date. Still waiting on the mod pack beta though. Anyway, if you haven't seen this new ice block stuff, uh, definitely check out my last live stream. But we're also going to be checking out these, this chained wheel, and I made a spiked wheel. It, 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 before anybody says anything, I know it looks different than the, uh, where's the other one? I should have that one loaded in too. This one. I know it looks different than this one. Um, <laughs> there's no real reason for that other than that uh, I just wanted a wheel in this size, and this is just a quick model I threw together. I might end up, uh, I might end up actually creating a new model for this later. But you know, just to get it out there uh, as soon as possible for us to play with. So I think um, let's toss those in my inventory. We're gonna check those out. We're gonna check the the new rubber block. Hello, Sen, 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 Godly Meme Lord, MN Lego Boy. How's it going, Captain Obvious? Saying the obvious. Uh, okay, let's pull out the uh, the ice blocks because we're gonna need that to show off what these wheels even do. I guess we're also gonna need some like regular wheels for comparison. Yeah, and so we're just gonna be checking out like the few the few new stuff uh, that's available today, and then. Um, we're also just going to be building some random stuff. So if you guys have it, like I have um, four, four or five ideas on my list here. But if you guys have any, uh, you know, random ideas that you want to see built, just uh, tell me in the live chat, and I'll, you know, we'll, when when we're building random ideas. Hey, Mudbog Joker, I remember you from like years ago. Rubber be bouncy? Nah. No, 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 no. Rubber just... So, a, a lot of these blocks are created for, like, a specific purpose. So, smooth ice is just supposed to be, like, the purpose of zero friction. Quote-unquote zero friction. It's a non-zero value, and you're gonna see why in a bit. Uh, icy rocks is supposed to be, like, quote-unquote realistic ice. Uh, and then rubber is also supposed to be, quote-unquote, realistic. Uh, so, it's not necessarily bouncy, but it is high friction it's not sticky but like it is I don't know how to describe it you you'll flip your car over if you turn too quickly on it but you're not gonna be able to climb up a wall on it like it doesn't it doesn't stick to things it's just friction um, what, what, what am I trying to say now <laughs> oh yeah the bouncy stuff there there is uh, the, the mod pack beta is the mod pack that has like some more experimental ideas uh, so here we're gonna be adding flubber which is specifically for the purpose of being very very bouncy uh, and then this flubber no friction which behaves a little bit differently just because it has no friction like it slides while bouncing it's kind of weird and then uh you know we're also adding destructible super heavy block just just for um you know a weight you can you know position weights on your vehicle that you can also just change on demand with some spud guns anyway mod pack beta updates not out yet all the new mod pack stuff is out let's check that out So you might have already seen then the uh, the ice stuff on the last live stream. This is actually perfect right here. This is like a perfect runway. You know what? You know what? Actually, since we're here, since we're here, make a rubber toilet car. <laughs> what? What? Hmm. Since we're here, though, this looks like a pretty decent hill. Oh, this looks like a great hill. Yeah. 
Yeah, this one. No, 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 no. Don't go that way. We're gonna be sliding this way. All right, let's go. Uh-oh, 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 tree! <laughs> well, it's just about as successful as real life tobogganing for me, so that's always fun. Durf, make a sled. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll go here. We'll start out of danger's way. Maybe. Maybe out of danger's way. Oh, okay, well. Hmm. You know what? We're just gonna go this way. No, 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 no. I want to toboggan where I want to toboggan. You can't tell me where I can and can't toboggan. Because I'm a Canadian. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is so difficult. I just want a sled. If zero air resistance blocked, block possible? Uh, I, no. The, an like, the technical answer to that is no. But, um, there is a, a drag reducer block mod. I think it's in the engineer's toolbox on the workshop. All right, cheating, cheating with the thruster a little bit, but there we go. Now that I have momentum this way, yeah. We, I am having all the fun <laughs> when you toboggan as an adult. All right. <laughs> The hills, the hills seem so much shorter than they did when you were a kid. Just putting that out there. Like, you know, not... They, 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 they seem way shorter than they should be. Because, like, I only grew, like, you know, four feet since I was a kid. Not a whole lot. You know, I probably have... Do I have something? Ice? Platform? Of course I do. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> it's too big. Um, um, busting out! Busting out of a frozen lake! All right. Yeah, you know, maybe I could just leave this on my lift. Hmm. Let's do that. We're gonna delete this now. We're gonna... It's too much work for me to weld it to the ground. Is this laziness or procrastination or... I don't know what it is. But I am, I'm gonna spawn in a few carts first. Because I'm. Uh, they already have... See, this is one test cart with... The new chained wheels. Let's just uh, take a look at these wheels actually first. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. I understand now why I wanted the ice. Alright. There's something I, I, I wanted to show you with the ice. Casually has a huge block of ice stuffed inside his lip. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, having a huge platform of this um, this block type makes it like, I don't know, convenient to just get started with the like. So I don't have to do this. <laughs> that's that's basically it. A giraffe is my favorite animal. Nice. Yeah, also known as a tall horse or the evolutionary superior llama. I don't know what they are, actually. <laughs> Durf, you should do a day where you pick a random fan from the comments section and do a video with them. That's, um, no offense, but a terrible idea. I'm the <laughs> uh, for one, I'm, uh, well, I'm the type of person that's going to be very blunt and honest with you about <laughs> that being a bad idea <laughs> instead of just like politely declining because the thing is um uh, like for for okay i think for the most part it's not a bad idea but then like i don't know some people 
just should never be on camera, you know what I mean? <laughs> Although I guess it's, uh, like, if I, if they don't have a mic, it's not an issue? I don't know. I don't know. I think the, the, like, the actual biggest concern is that it's kind of a time sink. And then, you, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll actually, I'll actually think about it, but not now. Alright. So right now I just have the three wheels, uh, on some very, very slippery ice. So, obviously you know what the normal wheel looks like. Let's take a look at the chain wheel. It's just, um, if you don't know, by the way, people actually do this to their wheels uh, during the winter and up here in Canada. Uh, and it's just to help, um, like it does add a tiny bit more traction. I shouldn't say tiny bit more because it's actually significantly more just for a tiny bit of chains. Um, yeah, but this, uh, so in Scrap Mechanic, I made this so that it's not like super grip. I don't know how to describe it, but I made this one to be super grip. So this will actually slip and slide on the ice, on the smooth ice. It will actually grip perfectly fine on the rocky ice. Uh, this type of ice is slightly less slippery. You know, let's just show you that actually. Just in case you haven't seen it in the last live stream. Simple metal block. It's gonna hit it, hit it along. Doesn't even slide the whole way, but it does slide. And I was looking like, you know, down 45 degrees ish. Ish, something like that. So here I'm gonna look down even even further than 45 degrees. Hit it, and it's sliding and sliding and sliding. So you know that these uh these two blocks behave differently. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, regular wheels will slip and slide on this ice. Like regular wheels just don't grip on it very well. They, they do like a little bit, it's like 10%. Uh, and then these wheels will grip like 100%. Like as if this was just normal ground, the chain wheels grip that perfectly fine. And same with the uh, spiked wheels. The spiked wheels, I designed them to be sort of like, quote unquote, digging into the ground. Or like they just dig into the ice so they, they don't slip. But uh, they are made so that on the smooth ice they have like about 50% traction. So it's not quite, it's it's like, you, it's not the, the ultimate friction <laughs> uh, solution. But let's, uh, let's start hitting them with some hammers and we'll, we'll see what's up. So I'm gonna try my very best not to move my mouse anymore from this point on uh, to make sure that I get the same hitting angle for each for each wheel. Let's do this. Boom! That's probably gonna go all the way to the end. Yep, slid right off. All right, sidestep. Boom! Chained wheel might make it all the way to the end too, actually. On the smooth ice, smooth ice is very slippery. Oh, oh, but it barely slid off that time. Okay, cool. And, uh, spike wheel. Boom! Yeah, not even, not even halfway. <laughs> Derek, are you gonna stream Roboco? I totally am. I'm really loving that game. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna play it is, because I, I, I probably want to, um, I probably want to hop into some more main assembly. I have some build ideas that I want to do. Alright, so chained wheels. Like we have no control on the smooth ice, none whatsoever. I need more. I need more rock ice to show you. And then we're also gonna take a look at. You know, let me. Sh well, all right. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm gonna try and refrain from jumping back and forth between topics. Happens when I'm excited and I want to talk about stuff. Durf, that are the wheels that I was asking about on previous stream. Hey. <laughs> you know, I get a lot of uh, a lot of suggestions from a lot of people, and I got to tell you, probably about 90% of the time it's already on my to-do list. And it's, you know, you're just like the 50th person to ask. 
But that's okay. That's okay. It's like, we're all just making sure that's on that to-do list, you know? Uh, all right, so let's try this again. As you can see, though, chained wheels, uh, they, I, they work pretty normally on the ground. Uh, although you do have a risk of, like, flipping over like that because they do grip... They do grip the ground better, right? So they'll grip sideways better than normal wheels will. Uh, so, wait, do I have a normal cart? Cart. Cart, cart, cart. Friction cart. That's not it. Ah, uh, we'll just, um... We'll spawn in another one. Toss some regular wheels on this. And then also just try to flip it. So we can get a good comparison of... Get rid of this passenger seat. Who needs a passenger? Alright, alright. I probably will actually be able to flip this. What? <laughs> what? Alright, well that was actually <laughs> working way better. Durf, isn't ice a bit transparent? Um... The, okay, so the short an- like I know exactly what you're getting at. The short answer to that is... Um... Scrap mechanics sucks. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but like the, the like the answer to that is that there's there's only one glass, there's only one way to render transparent stuff in scrap mechanic, and it comes out as glass. So it's either gonna be it's either gonna look like you know this or this or this. <laughs> like this, 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 all these three materials are glass, and it's just a different. Uh, it's it, the, the technical details are a little complicated to explain if you don't know how to make mods. I know that sucks, but yeah, short answer is um, I would have loved to make them semi-transparent, like a nice. To, I don't know how to describe them, but I don't think uh, I don't think Scrap Mechanics capable of that. At least um, not as a workshop mod. Lady Skelebro, you are late again. Durf, make the ice destructible so that you can also clean the ice with a hammer or spuds. It was like that originally, but it actually made it incredibly difficult um, to do anything else. Here, let me show you something real quick. Real quick. Uh, wait. Yeah, this will work. This will work. This will work just fine. Alright. So you gotta try doing this. Who dat? Who dat? Fab007NL, thank you for the dollar donation. I found your reaction to Robo... Roboco way funnier than cons. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Yeah, I finally got a chance to watch uh, both both uh, Scrapman and Khan's video after I uh, finally recorded mine. I didn't want to spoil anything for me. And I was surprised that they both came up with essentially the same idea. And, like, it, it took me, like, three days after I watched both of their videos. Has it even been three days? I don't know. That might be an exaggeration, but, um... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it took me, like, a long... Longer than it should have to realize that they both made a piston with, like, rods and hinges and stuff. When I'm pretty sure the game actually has a piston part in the inventory. Like, you can just slap a piston on. But hey, whatever, first time playing, I wouldn't have noticed it either. Um, okay, so let's get get a, a get another cart out here, because we're going to need one. To show you uh, the spiked wheel. Yeah, and again, just a reminder, I mean, I don't know if you guys like this spiked wheel more than the other spiked wheel model. This was just supposed to be like a super, super quick placeholder model. That's what I like to call them. So yeah, they, they obviously look very different, a different style. I could have resized this spike wheel just to be the same size, but I think it was a little bit quicker for me to just make one in this size, slap some spikes all over it, and call it a day. But yeah, if you guys, um, I don't know, prefer a different spike wheel model, I'll probably just make another one later. How do I get out? How do I get out of timeout? You are, you are out of timeout. If you are asking that question, you're out of timeout. Avoid what you did to get into timeout, and then, <laughs> then you'll be fine. Alright, so this is obviously, like, the grippiest wheels. Uh, luckily, 
luckily it's not too uncontrollable on uh, on terrain. I do not recommend driving with these wheels on anything but ice. Like these these wheels are strictly made for ice or like low friction conditions cuz <laughs> like you can't even flip over properly because it grips so well. So uh, let's uh, test them out on some ice then. I mean, you already saw the hammer hits on ice, right? So this we're just gonna toss here because 100% it'll like it, it grips on this just like it grips on that. This ice is nothing to these spike wheels. Hello, Tygo. What did you miss? You didn't miss much. Funny how I spent 20 minutes not doing much, right? <laughs> uh, all right. And there's that uh, regular cart. Let's go get that. All right. So one thing that I want to point out. Godly meme lore. Uh, you got to stop doing that in somebody else's live chat. That's the first thing that you got to do. <laughs> And if you if you really want like tips and help, just hop on the Discord. Wait till I actually have the time to answer questions. Don't uh, you know? Don't do that during a live stream. All right. So you guys already know that the uh, smooth ice is like basically frictionless, right? It's like a, a very small number. It's like 0, 0.0000 whatever. Uh, the the point of that is like wait. It has to be a non-zero number because these um, these friction wheels have a high friction number. So it's like saying um, if the ground has a friction of one and the normal wheels over there have a friction of one, then it's a one-to-one -one ratio and it has traction. So if the ice has a friction value of like 0, 0.00, like super, super close to zero, might as well be zero. And then you try to, you know, multiply by one, the result is still going to be zero. Doesn't matter how much you drive or in which direction, you literally cannot move from this spot because, like the the air resistance itself is keeping you in place. You don't have the traction. Uh, same should go for this for this wheel over here, except like I said, these wheels are more or this uh, ice block is more like ten percent. So you do have some traction, but you can see we do slide around a little bit. And I did, again, I did show this in my last live stream, so full details for the ice blocks, check that out here. But today we're checking out the wheels. So let's check out these wheels then. We already know we can't move on smooth ice, and we have a little bit of traction on here. So this, 100% traction. We can like flip ourselves over on this ice. Whoops. <laughs> but on the smooth ice, on the smooth ice, even the chain wheels, might as well be zero traction. Nothing else, like the, it's kind of weird just how powerful I, is that how you describe the slipperiness of ice? Powerful? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just kind of weird how um, very, very slippery, but like, it, like I said, it might as well be zero friction. So of course these spiked wheels over here, they definitely grip, they definitely grip the rock ice because even the chain wheels grip it just fine. Spiked wheels on smooth ice, and we can move! Yeah! So this is about like 50% traction. Oh my gosh. So this is a, uh, oh, 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 like drifting around all over the place. It's a lot closer to um, how normal wheels behave on this rock ice. Durf, what will happen if you made a wheel made of blocks and ice in an alternating pattern? Will a sudden grip uh, and, and lose grip help drift? Um, no. Let me, uh, let me show you another cart real quick. So, part of the mod pack update was to adjust the settings for these wheels here. For all the, all the mod pack wheels. So the sand wheels are probably the uh, slipperiest. The lowest friction out of all the you know mod pack wheels but they're still within like a normal range so this would be uh, if you can see here like I'm sort of drifting around that's just how you make drift wheels 
which I'm really surprised the developers haven't actually added to their wheels yet because this is helping you like these wheels are now probably my favorite wheels because like, you, you can't flip over in these wheels even if your engines are overpowered because you just drift it's amazing no more flipping over I'm actually stuck though <laughs> stuck in a bush though <laughs> All right, Durf, have you ever played with Blitz and or will you ever? I don't know if Blitz even knows who I am, to be honest. That's that's the answer to that. It's one of those things where, um, it's one of those things where I think it's, you know, far better for him to approach me about a collaboration than me to approach him. I don't know what it is. It, it just, it. Well, that, that might just be looking, like, way too far into it, because I'm pretty sure, um... Ah, it's just, never mind, let's get on, let's get on with the stream. <laughs> uh, okay, so there is also this new rubber block. Hey, Stingray, how's it going? Durf, is there any way you, or Brent, or anyone behind the mod pack team could make tiles with this low friction coated into them would make one hell of an ice biome? Uh, I, I think it would be terrain assets. So that you just want, uh, like a huge platform of smooth ice or something, right? Or uh, a huge platform with this texture on it. You know, it'd be really nice if you could actually just use a, a texture like this as the, um... Like, the, like this texture. Like, one thing I, I really dislike about the tile editor is that the, the developers didn't go all in. They just didn't... They didn't let anyone create textures and, and stuff you know what I mean kind of lame kind of lame that they're basically forcing me to make a data mod if you want this texture as the ground hey strange vibes wait did you do December fan creations already I did not <laughs> I did not no 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 I'm you know I, I'm, I'm behind on a lot of video ideas fan creations is one of them uh, my, my best builds of 2019 is another one all right, get you out of here, get you out of here. We're showing rubber right now. Oh, 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 some people in Discord were asking if this um, if this is a model or a texture. This is uh, both. It's not just a change in model to the uh, to the wheel texture. Uh, it can't be, as far as I know. That's not how, that's not how the texture is gonna allow it to work. So what I did was, if I, if maybe I can show you like this. Yeah, so you can sort of see in the ghost image or maybe I could just place one down, yeah. Uh, you can see in the ghost image, there's sort of like tape, like a very thin strip of 3, 3D model. It's just a 2D, a 2D, you know, face with a 2D texture on it. And then for that section, I made, um, it's just like, um, where's that part? Here. It's just like this. Where you make a 2D texture that's uh, transparent, except this looks ugly. Ew. <laughs> Ew, they need to make this a higher resolution. Yeah, so it's just like that. And then uh, I also tried to give it a nice uh, normal map. Can you take the chains off? Dude. What? What are you on? <laughs> what are you on about right now? What? Oh, oh, you mean like, uh, wait, wait, you're ta you're thinking like, um, interactable wheels? Like, you, you connect a switch to them to turn chains on and off? Unfortunately, I don't think that's possible. Like, wow, what do you know it? What do you know it? I, you know, you found another reason for me to be mad at the devs. Don't let us change friction on demand with mods. That's... <laughs> uh, anyway. Because, <laughs> like, that's something that they could easily add. We can just, it would be amazing if we could change uh, friction with scripted parts. Dang, dude. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to build, I'm trying to show off this rubber block. You guys are distracting me. <laughs> Again, for the, um, this was just another quick update. So this, uh, this texture, I just slapped it together super, super quick. I'll probably end up changing it to actually look like a better a better rubber texture. You probably can't even see it with the uh, encoding of the live stream. Hey, Delta, thank you for 
I am the one who knocks. A 20 knock donation. All right, where's my paint tool? Yeah, I don't know, I mean, close up. Close up, it doesn't look, <laughs> close up, it does not look good. Definitely does not. But about like this distance, it kind of looks like more regular rubber. But then I, I don't know if that even shows up on stream. So let's uh, paint it a little bit brighter then. The one good thing about this texture is that it's like fully paintable. Uh, so yeah, that might actually look that might actually look more like uh, rubber or like asphalt or you know like the rubber padding that they put inside of uh, gyms sometimes maybe it looks something like that so this is a super high friction block uh, let's go ahead and grab something with quote unquote normal friction oh I already have that And then of course, we, we already tested out the uh, low friction stuff. So metal on metal, this is a one to one ratio for friction. And I should just be able to, uh, I mean, it does, it, it does slide, I guess, but then like all of a sudden it grips. And that's uh, friction and scrap mechanic. Oh boy, oh boy. All right. And as you can see the rubber block, <laughs> it refuses to move in that direction. No matter what, it will only flip over. Like it. <laughs> oh, that's great. No slide. None. Try doing it with wheels. You mean like, uh, like this? I, I think I actually did this before. We're gonna do it on the metal first. <laughs> We're gonna do it on the metal first. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a that's a slide, all right. That's what I love about the rubber block. All right, we'll 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 get a chance to see that in action right after this. Yeah, no slide whatsoever. So let's try and uh, let's try and get this thing um, rolling. Oh come on! Yeah, give me give me. No, no, no. I wanted to do, um... Oh, oh, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. <laughs> you guys are like, what is he even talking about? Eh. Really? You just fell over? How? It's like one side of the wheel is heavier than the other. That doesn't make any sense. All right, here we go. Yes. Yes. Whenever wheels do this on rubber block, they tend to go forever and ever. Except for that time. Great. Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, it's not the first time this game... Well, well it's not... Games tend to just make a liar out of me sometimes. Like, right when I say something, they just prove me wrong immediately. Derf, you really need to check on Nightbot. Ah, Nightbot's fine. <laughs> Nightbot's fine. What did he even do anyway? Spammed my chat with, like, links to Patreon and stuff? Nobody, nobody signs up for my Patreon anyway. It's depressing and I'm gonna quit. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I am probably gonna update my Patreon this year, because, um, yeah. Big updates coming. Derf, try doing the texture chain thing on a wheel so that when you give it a number input or press E on it, it changes. Eesh, I, that is very possible. I don't have to try to do that, but there's just no point on doing that because there's nothing that's gonna functionally change with the wheel. It's just gonna be a visual change. And then what's the point of that? Like what? what's the point of building a car with the ability to, you know, pop wheels on and off if nothing functionally changes, right? Like, uh, you know, you could just, um, you could just hide a pair of friction wheels on the inside of your vehicle like this. Uh, let's, let's, 
do it on a normal vehicle actually to show you. We can just build this right now actually. Switch, piston, block, bearing, and a friction wheel. All right. Yeah, so this this would be the solution for um, building cars that change their traction. Uh, I have no idea what length this is. All right. Oh, <laughs> kind of forgot that's a bunch of weight in the back now. Whoa! <laughs> Forgot I don't have the traction in the front, I can't steer. Alright, alright, so this, this should be zero traction. Except for those, except for those spiked wheels. Yep. Oh, that's such, wait, what, why isn't this working as, as well as it should? Hmm. Something weird's going on there. See all that? Something very weird's happening. I think, uh, I think you really need to use mini pipes or something with these friction wheels, because that's, that's a lot of rubbing up against those blocks. Probably where I'm, like, where all my speed's going. Anyway, use that on rubber. Use these guys on rubber? Like, the highest friction combination possible? Because I'm pretty sure that's, like, uh, like a million times 10,000? 10, 10,000 million? What is that? 10 billion? Something like that. Oh, oh! Did you see that? Did you see those wheels pop all of a sudden? Gotta pay very close attention to those wheels. They just sort of like pop in a way that they shouldn't. It might just be because they're on uh, suspensions or... Yeah, see that? That's so weird. Like, they're trying to grip out of their... <laughs> they're trying to grip out of their placement. It's not supposed to be possible, Scrap Mechanic. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these wheels... Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> these wheels are a little too grippy. Anyway, I think... Um... Is that all that I really wanted to show you with the with the mod pack updates? Because, like, we, we already saw the ice stuff last time the rubber block is new and it's just the wheels that are new if you guys didn't see in the last uh, stream this um, low collision block was also given zero friction just to make sure that it doesn't stick or slide with any uh, yeah just to make sure it doesn't stick or slide with anything in a weird way but because of that uh, because of that, because it also has a spherical collision with zero friction, and because it has a, uh, a cube a cube model, uh, you can do really cool things with it like this. Super cool. Oh, 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 where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? Here? Here? Yeah. And this is why, this is why I want to build a, uh, one of the stream ideas. We might end up doing this, uh, at the end of the stream today, but I wanted to build a, I actually wanted to go into the tile editor for once and start, like, designing, uh, toboggan hills or, like, a bobsled run. Because that's totally something that you can do. And, uh, with a bunch of zero friction blocks, whether it's a bunch of these or the smooth ice, it's, like, slapped to the bottom of your toboggan sled. I would probably put uh, use these just because these are actually true zero. 
but also because they have the sphere collision, they're rounded. So they're always going, like, they're not going to get caught on anything. There's no corners to get caught on. So yeah, you see, you can just, um... <laughs> build yourself a little toboggan sled. Whoops. Perfect. Yeah, we definitely need 45 degree versions of all the friction blocks, Durf. Could make some cool ideas. Uh, yeah, Con, I know you're, <laughs> I know you're <laughs> bugging me about uh, where's the zero friction polygons? And you know that you gotta understand. Like, I get people, I get like 50 of these a day. People asking, you know, where's this? Where's that? Why aren't you making this? When's the website gonna be ready? When are you gonna make the next tutorial on how to make mod? Like, oh my gosh, it's my own fault for starting too many things at once. So, like, the long story short is, um, the best solution for me to answer everybody's request is, uh, I need to properly take some time to, sorry, I need to take some time to properly design the new mod pack polygons. So the current mod pack polygons, the one that you all know and love, technically gonna be obsolete. I know that sucks, but, uh, people have been asking for... You know, I want a three by five by seven version of this polygon. So I'm, I'm, I'm making a script that just generates all the polygons, it, like all of them, all, all <laughs> actually all of them. Nobody can ask for another polygon ever again. And then once I have that, then I can very easily just like make a copy of, oh, now it's a uh, zero friction or, oh, now it's RGB lighting or, you know, so that's, that's, uh, that's the thing I'm essentially forced to do with, uh, you know, the number of people asking me to do things. It's kind of ridiculous. Ah, <laughs> oh, con. Right when I was looking at chat, too. Where's the Zero Friction Polygons? Thanks for the donation, man. I mean, I mean... There's another problem with that, too, because, like... If I took the time, for example, to stop what I'm doing right now, stop on the mod pack beta updates, the like the bouncy, the bouncy balls, the flubber, this stuff that you guys are also asking me to do. <laughs> if I take time off, stop working on this, just to take the mod pack polygons, the current one, and make a copy of that at zero friction, and call it good enough. I think that's also a mistake because it's going to get the player base used to having those polygons when technically they should be replaced with a better set of polygons. Like I, I would prefer if the player base got used to using the new set of polygons, if that makes sense. But I mean, if you guys like, I, okay, okay. I mean, if you guys really can't wait, <laughs> it's technically possible, right? But all right, um, what's the problem con? With, uh, well, what's the problem with slapping the zero friction stuff on the bottom of your thing if you want to slide, right? And just build a terrain tile. But I understand that, uh, you know, sometimes you want a creation or something. Maybe it's, uh, oh, maybe it's like a pinball machine you want to make. I get it. Yeah, so then, unfortunately, you're kind of limited to stuff like this for now. Wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, before I do that, there we go, we're gonna do this. There we go, now we can lengthen that. And I can get that any angle that I want it. There we go. And then down here, uh, is that even gonna fit? Probably not. Is this gonna fit though? Yes, it is. Uh oh. You guys uh, really know how to distract me. 
Because <laughs> uh, we were supposed to move on to the uh, random to-do list of ideas that I have had for way too long. Oops, 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 oops. Huh. Huh. It's kind of a problem. Good enough. Problem solved. <laughs> That's how you solve problems in today's world. All right, something like this, I think, right? And then you can just, um... Bippity boopity bop. Bam. Wee! <laughs> Something like that. Why does Durf not have 100,000 subs yet? Um, probably because I'm uh, socially awkward, uh, very blunt, kind of rude or vulgar. Um, taking way too much time to focus on projects that don't actually pay the bills. Ah, uh, there's various reasons. Alright, so, <laughs> what I'm actually supposed to be doing this, uh, stream... Oh, 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 there is something else actually I gotta show you. Wait, do I even have it? I don't have it! Oh no! It's okay. Something like this. And you guys must be like, what is he building? But... This is, um... So because of this new friction stuff, it's technically now possible to... Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Get back here. <laughs> Get back here, get back here. It's technically now possible to, if you just saw what I did. Eh. Eh. It's possible to uh, move things by foot. Oh god. You can now kick things around in Scrap Mechanic, and I'm trying to prevent it from going down there. <laughs> it's actually kind of hard because, uh, you know what? I should just build it better. I'm kind of a dingus. That's the wrong block. Kind of a huge dingus. All right. So the the important part uh, to keep in mind with this um, kicking mechanic. Well, whenever Durf reads, chat, tell him polygons is for slot cars. Oh. Oh, that's right. Um, okay, wait. I'm going to have to see. <laughs> I'm going to have to go take a look at your... Uh, do you have, a, like, a clip that uh, depicts the problem with the polygon? Because, like, that might even... That might not even be fixed with... Uh, with zero friction polygons. Like, it, it might just be that... Um, the corner of the wedge is what's getting caught. I mean, zero friction m might help. But yeah, tr like, just trust me when I say it's going to be a whole lot better if I can just um, standardize uh, the new polygons like as an entire set. Because then it would be, it it's going to come with like a lot of tools to very easily switch like a, like you pop in a blueprint and you'll be able to switch between normal polygons or or friction polygons or whatever. 
I mean, if you actually, like, if you want uh, full details on what I'm doing, I can, you just message me on uh, Discord. I'll, I'll explain the whole why it's going to take a little bit of time before you guys see zero friction polygons. Or, like, the, the details of the new, the new polygon set. But, like, the shorter answer is just that it's, like, hundreds of thousands of parts. You know, nobody's going to be able to ask for, this polygon is missing. All right, all right. So I think uh, I, th I think there's actually nothing else to show you guys in terms of mod updates. Like you already saw, if you wanted to see the mod pack beta stuff. Oh, I have to I have to give this more friction. And let's play around with some of them. But yeah, I I also uh, today's today's stream plan. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to play with individual balls. I want to play with, uh... The new... <laughs> the new futuristic basketball! Basket stick! Yeah, kinda... kinda behaves as expected. You know, there's gotta be like a... Where is it? Okay, we'll try one that's, um... Oops. Okay, we're gonna try one that has friction and one that has no friction. Well, of course, the, the zero friction one just slipped. <laughs> it just slipped out from under itself. Basket stick. Uh, what do the new wheels do? Uh, this is just a chain wheel. It helps grip on the rocky ice, just like as if it was normal ground. So it has higher friction. That's what both of these wheels do. And there's also the smooth ice, which is very slippery. And that's why there's the spike wheel. Hey, Derf, I have a question. What do you use to create your models? Um, typically Wings 3D because it's nice and quick. For more complex models, it's usually Blender. Huh. I kind of expected these to be bouncing more. And why does this, uh, why does this remind me of, like, I'm, I'm... I'm getting some suppressed memories of watching Magic School Bus when they shrink and go inside that kid's body. And then they start seeing the uh, the germs and bacteria. They depicted it like this. It looked it looked it looked exactly like this. Derf, when you make the new polygons mod, can you make it backwards compatible with the old polygons? Nope. No, the best solution I can offer for that is a uh, a conversion tool, so that if you want to recover your old blueprints, like if you want to convert. Uh, uh, a polygon, like I have lots of polygon blueprints, like uh, Mr. Wobblequack, my baby Yoda. So, um, yeah, the best solution I can offer for that is to create a tool, a blueprint tool that swaps out the old blueprints, uh, the old, old polygons for the new ones. And oh, I don't, I don't have the polygons loaded. I can't show you. But uh, the the main reason for that is because, um, well, the the. <laughs> The mod pack polygons was made horribly. Like it was tossed together very quickly because people were asking for more polygons. And uh, there are some polygons that have different rotations. There are some, like it, it's not, it's not a good thing to manage. It's not a good. Right now, there's no possibility of me creating a tool that easily swaps polygon sets for another polygon set. Or like there's so many options that are just not available just because that polygon pack was not made the best it could have been, right? So, I'm at a, no like, right now I have an opportunity where so many people are waiting for um, all the polygons from one by one by one to 16 by 16 by 16, like full three-dimensional scaling for all the different polygons, uh, like hundreds of thousands apart, right? I'm at an opportunity now where I can take the time to create this set of polygons properly and then it'll actually give everyone like a whole bunch of 
um, options like being able to swap them out with zero friction polygons, being able to rotate them properly, being able to swap out different sizes of polygons without having to... <laughs> It's it, it, like it's a lot. It's a lot to explain. I'm really sorry that I can't get into the details. But today, there, there's a few ideas that I want to try. Um, just as like fun little things that I'm probably never gonna do for a video. So if you guys have any quick build ideas that you want to see, um, go ahead and let me know in the chat. You're gonna get an idea of what sort of things I'm I'm talking about when I build the first idea. Hey, Durf, can you make the conveyor belt less glitchy, like if you want to move explosives, they immediately explode? Uh, well, they're in the mod pack beta for a reason. So, but, you know, just be, be patient. They may or may not work eventually. <laughs> that's, that's the nature of scrap mechanic. Durf, why mod pack make strange file in my save folder and I can't play before I delete this file? Ah, that's not the mod pack, that's scrap mechanic. That's when your that's when uh, that's when your world file like fails to quit properly, like the world crashes. Uh, sometimes your game crashes when that happens. Sometimes it doesn't. But all right, I'm going to sleep. Thanks, Durf. Good night. Good night, Keeb. 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 Ali. I missed your Ali. Have a good day. All right, all right. First build idea, first random build idea. Uh, how big is this? Five? Okay, five by five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's a five by five by five cube. Now I have a second, <laughs> a second five by five by five cube. Okay, and then on this we're gonna stick. Where is it? We need, um, we need a lot of stuff actually. Get rid of all of this. Actually, we needed the switch. Switch. Gravity module, wireless router. Uh, Orient block, which probably means bearings and engines. And mini pipes. Oh, I forgot I had these. Um, I think this is it. Oh, no, 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 no. I need a seat. Duh. <laughs> Duh. All right. Durf, giraffe centipede. Oh my gosh. Adding that to my to-do list right now. <laughs> there you go. It's on the to-do list. We're definitely going to be doing that someday. Wait, no, we can do that today. That's that you're you're giving me suggestions. <laughs> uh, I kind of went I zoned out in the brain there. Future updates can remove this error. Uh, I don't know, man. It's up to Scrap Mechanic. Hey, Age of Gaming, I'm doing I'm doing great. A Pong game. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, let's actually try something real quick. I want to. I want to test something. That's a great idea. That ended up. <laughs> that ended up making me want to test something instead of build something. What? Where is the uh, mod pack beta stuff? Very slippery. Oh, give me a sec. All right, <clears throat> little kitty cat was bugging me for the door. Okay. 
So we're gonna line this the outside here with uh, some bouncy blocks and hey, that's a donation. Light dick. I need five dollars. Thank you so much, man. If you get a chance, build a flat of ice with 45 degree flubber wall and launch a ball and <laughs> well, I'm, I'm cut. You're just sort of on the right track of with what I'm doing with this. I mean, I don't. Well, I could, I could, I could stick a controller. I can stick a controller. Except this flubber is zero friction, so if anything bounces off this, it's gonna keep, it's gonna keep most of its momentum, or its inertia, right? It's just the surface normal the, 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 that it's bouncing. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> All right, um, what are we going to do inside here? We're going to do... Um, we need... Bounce needs to multiply with another bounce value. So I actually need something that has bounce. Uh, I believe the baseball has a tiny bounce value, which is going to be ideal because this flubber is like super, super bouncy. So I need something that's a little bit more controlled and hopefully this doesn't fly out of the map. You gotta love scrap mechanic, right? Just gotta love these physics, man. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> like, really? It wasn't even going that fast. <sighs> hey, Foggy Contacts. How are you? Make sure to do the corners. Bam. Corner. Alright, alright, alright. Oh yeah, so the, to the person that asked for the, uh, the ice to be destructible with hammer and spud gun, this is another uh, thing, like this is another limitation, so to speak. You wouldn't be able to do a billiard game with, on, on ice. And I'm pretty sure that's never gonna stop. Actually, no, that is gonna stop. All right, so the, uh, the friction value of the baseball is a little bit too low to continue. Uh, let's maybe try heavyweight golf ball or lightweight golf ball. I think those also have a little bit of a bounce. Pikachuzzy. Hi, you should try a turret that teleports where you look using orientation, sort of like TARDIS. Hmm. I actually think that is very possible to do. Um, you know what? That's something that we could build today, actually. We might do that. Hopefully this doesn't, uh... Ah, oh, that, that slowed down way too much. Yeah, I mean, this will work as a Pong, uh, a Pong game, I think. Pro oh, you know what? Actually, we can, um... Where did I put it? <laughs> it's right here. That thing that was actually zero friction. Oh, but it doesn't have bounce. I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a dingus. I just finished telling you, bounce needs to multiply off of bounce. See, like, even I forget. Yeah, there's no bounce at all on that. Hey, the gamer 210. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm glad, uh... <laughs> I'm glad. I, I hope you guys are <laughs> doing good too. What am I? What do I even start saying? I don't even know. Durf Con Gaming, how do you put parts in your inventory without inventory bar without dragging it? Oh, you shift click. Um, so that's right. I have this other build that I was working on over there somewhere. <laughs> uh, I get so distracted these streams, man. What's wrong with me? Yeah, too. Same same way that I'm getting rid of them. I'm just holding shift as I'm clicking. Uh, so if you wanna, you know, boop, boop. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's also not really what I wanted. <laughs> oh! Let's try that again. Oh, 
Well, it's not like this barrel has any bounce to it, but... Uh, Durf, the SMM website is down. No, it's not. Oh, wait, what? The new web, uh, the new homepage is already up? That's not supposed to be that way. <laughs> who, who did that? I wasn't supposed to be, I didn't do that. Like, what? It's not supposed to be up already. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, I, now I'm really distracted. What was I trying to do? Oh yeah, I'm trying to find a ball that will bounce continuously. And I have uh, a flubber ball, I believe. No, that's a flubber block. I need the uh, spherical kind. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter if I use the one with friction. Because these, uh, these surfaces are multiplying it by zero. So all that's mattering right now is the, the bounce. Oh, God. Uh, well then, <laughs> well then, hey Durf, ever thinking of making Minecraft video? I have, I just never, I've never played Minecraft before ever. Durf, make a railgun with an upward angle and zero friction flubber to make a super OP gun. Oh, I mean, you guys, I, remember this, um, the friction stuff's already out, right? So you guys can uh, start making these ideas yourself. Okay, so for the Pong idea. Pong. Pingity pingity pong. Let's actually uh let's actually build Pong. Actually, let's try something real quick. Is this um does this do a thing? Nah, it doesn't really bounce. Okay. I was kind of wondering if I could like have a frictionless run up with a, uh, with, with like a, you know, bounce pad at the end. Hey Ruben, how's it going? Jeriff, can you give us link to download the mod pack not from Steam? Certainly, I certainly can do that. Not now though, because obviously, like I'm working on updating the mod pack, so now's the wrong time to be asking for that, because you're just gonna be asking me for that in uh, next week, <laughs> next week or next month. You're just gonna be asking me that again, so don't even. I guess I guess you forgot my idea. What was your idea, Light Deck? <laughs> I, I get so distracted. You guys are terrible. I'm blaming it all on you. It's your fault. Clearly, it's not my attention span that it's a, I, at fault. <laughs> it's it's stream chat. Use pistons to make a jump pad. Yeah. Or or you can just use uh, mattresses. <laughs> Bounce pad! So, when will we get these parts? Like I said, the mod pack update is already out. You can already play with the mod pack parts. The mod pack beta stuff, like the bouncy stuff, that's gonna come out uh, very soon. I, I can't say when. It was supposed to be this weekend, but there was actually a second mod pack, like, touch-ups that we had to update the mod pack with, so... <laughs> Comfort, yeah. <laughs> Angle both halves of the pong table to the oh oh right 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 you wanted to see the uh, 45 degree on the sides of that uh, oh all right all right hold on hold on I, I first have a mission to uh there we go hop into the other are you kidding me right as I hop into the top one you decide to glitch through each other you really want to deny me the experience of being on the top bunk. Come on. Tell me 
There we go. Top bunk for Durf. Guys, like, what's with my... <sighs> Just as I'm saying, what's with my luck in this game? <laughs> in any game? What's with my luck? What's why, why do I have this luck? I don't understand. <laughs> my gosh. All right, where's my where's my flubber block? There we go. Whoops. Hey, Jeff, can you show me how good uh uh how good are pistons for suspension? Yeah, certainly. I think uh, there might actually be like a better. Well, I don't have anything on my left, so probably not right now. But um, if you use the smart engine, where is it, right here? Smart engine controller. You can control pistons with it. You can set the height to like a decimal level. You can do one and a half blocks. Uh, and if you notice, there's on the part description right over here, I can't point my mouse here <laughs> while the thing's, you know, not there. Um, white number input is for speed. Uh, that's just how fast how fast your piston is going to s reach the target length that you set uh, when you change the the length so for for the most part you just need to set that to some value it doesn't matter what it is uh, black you could probably leave at default power but if you want to if you want to you know change your power of your suspension pistons then you can do that gray is what you're looking for. That's the stiffness setting for suspensions. Uh, so you can use this on bearings or pistons if you want. But basically, basically what happens is when you use a piston, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to explain it right now. <laughs> I guess we're doing this now. Well, why, why isn't it adding? Isn't it? Oh, because I'm hitting the wrong. I'm pressing the wrong key on my keyboard. That's why. Uh, all right, piston, 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 piston. There we go. All right. I think uh, vanilla piston will show this excellently. Probably helps if I connect it, right? All right. So pistons, the way that they usually work, let's actually set that to a uh, uh, halfway. All right, so you see how the pistons sort of behaved there? Uh, pistons, how they typically behave is when you start adding too much weight, uh, you see they start to compress all the way down. And then they do some weird glitch thing. Like what, scrap mechanic? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. It's almost like as if I programmed it to just go up and down. Why? Why, why does this happen? <laughs> uh, anywho, anywho, the gray stiffness setting for the smart engine. Uh, let's say you set the piston a target length of seven, like I did for this one. The, the piston's going to go to the length of seven. And if there's a, a weight that's, like if you have a positive I'm pretty sure if you have a, a, a non-zero stiffness setting, like uh, stiffness 1 or stiffness 10 or I don't know, uh, then the further that the actual length of the piston is from the target length, like it's actually 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, like the further and further it is, the more power the piston actually gets. So it's never going to actually keep compressing like this. That's what the stiffness does. It makes pistons behave more like a suspension where the, like it, it's harder and harder to actually compress it further and so it's more it's more likely to just stay around where you set it whoops yeah but what do they do I guess we're doing this now I guess we're doing this now Yeah, I don't 
don't need that. <clears throat> don't need this. Um, is that it? I don't even know if I'm going to need this many, but... Target length of 7. Default power is 10,000. Switch to turn it on and off. Uh, speed has to be some value. That's non-zero. And this is in blocks per second, so it doesn't really matter. And... Alright, so this is if you're using pistons uh, just by, by default on their own. Seemingly, the power is not enough. So, what is it? Uh, 10, 20, uh, 100, 1,000, 10,000? Okay. So it seems I think uh, I think that there's already a default stiffness level. So let's uh, show you then what zero stiffness is. It's any of the gray. I don't think it really matters which one. But then zero stiffness will probably make this collapse. Yeah, the entire way. Because um, rip. There we go. Because uh, I set this to a target length of seven, right? And uh, like I tried to explain, like it's probably just bouncing up and down, above and below the actual target length of seven. So that's zero, one, two, three. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't really go above it, obviously because of gravity. But yeah, this is this is what a default stiffness does. So let's go ahead and uh, connect zero stiffness. It does not uh, increase power when it's below target. Is there a dampening setting? You mean stiffness? I wonder what the default value was. Jeez, that must be like a hundred or. Okay, okay, so it seems the default value for stiffness was 100. So doubling it, tripling it, quadruple, quintuple, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. So you can see it's like capable of putting up with more weight, or more force, I should say. Because, like, this also this is also something that you observe when you, uh, like, take a landing, a hard landing from a jump. So, um, you know, not to, uh, not to, like, promote the mod pack or anything, but uh, these are actually way better performing than regular suspensions for any car. It's just a little bit of an annoy uh, annoyance to set up, you know what I mean? Piston has better dance. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Durf, thank you so much for answering me. I need to go now. I'll watch it. I don't even remember what I answered you. So I don't know if that's, like, facetious or not. Did I actually answer you? Or are you just, uh... You're just saying that. Like, in spite. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so I'm actually glad that I have the pistons out now. Because uh, I'm going to be using that to build my ping pong. Pongity ping ping pong. Oh my god, I don't even play SM, and I did something smart. Did you? Was it never playing Scrap Mechanic? <laughs> Was that the smart thing you did? <laughs> Alright, something like this. This is going to be our paddle. And, um... 
because I actually want it to be nice and fast. Luckily, I have all this number logic stuff out. Um, yeah, that'll work. Oh, no, wait. I wanted to paint this white. I forgot why <laughs> I forgot why I pulled out my paint tool for a second. Uh, and then I also want to set it... Give it a value. Two? Something like that. Um, either I'm going to do this with a regular button or a tick button because I think with a tick button I, sh I, I might be able to get it like uh, oh no wait I meant right here oh wait what I do believe really did I do this wrong? Oh, I just never gave it a speed. Also, this is a... <laughs> this is kind of looking like a huge mistake so far. Okay. That's probably... There you go. There you go. That's giving a good hit. I knew I wanted to use the tick button for, for a reason. Okay. So now we should be able to um, play some ping pong. I'm trying to get a good camera angle here. There we go. Boop. Oh wait, <laughs> it would probably help if I put it in range. Uh, let's just get it going, I think. And hope that it comes back. Uh-oh. <laughs> hope that it comes back. Oh, come on. <sighs> How do I do this? I just want a thing that's going to come back. So that I can test my, my paddle thing. Eh. Well, I missed. Yes, yes. Come back. Come back. Slide all the way. All the way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Why is this my luck in video games? Come on! <laughs> like really? All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna need a seat. I think. Oh, I have a seat. I have a barrel. There we go. Alright, hit it. Hit it with a hammer, hop in the barrel. Get ready for ping pong. <laughs> How did I manage to miss? Oh my gosh, that timing. Durf, did you know Con I the video said blank to scrap man, I don't mean anything bad, but it's funny. Eh? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, sometimes, sometimes, uh, I noticed, uh, I think last Multiplayer Monday, I accidentally left something in that I thought I removed in editing, but whoops. <laughs> I think that just happens sometimes, whatever. Um, let's get this darker so we can see what's going on. Yeah, to the person that was saying, um, like, ice should be somewhat transparent, I completely agree. Especially for black ice to look like black ice. Music, 
black ice is more like uh, dangerously transparent ice, so you just don't even see it. It's not actually black. Well, it is black in the sense that um, it's transparent on top of asphalt, like on top of a road. So that's that's the dangerous part. You never see that it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna get into an accident because of this icy patch that I did not see. Okay, please don't bounce out. Oh my gosh. Huh. No, are you kidding me? How did I manage to kill the momentum with that? Guys, what? <laughs> what? Really? Come on. Come on, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't you dare stop. <sighs> Make the ice brown. Hey, brown ice, brown ice was multiplayer Monday. That was a curling multiplayer Monday. Uh, like, like the theory, the theory is that I should be able to keep it going, right? With a little bounce. I don't know why this is incredibly difficult. Like so much for this idea, right? Also, Big Brain finally evolved the Big Brain and just put the thing right in front. You gotta be kidding me. Where did it even go? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Alright, moving, moving on to the, uh, the next idea. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. The plan, the idea, one one idea suggestion thing was to have a 45 degree slope bounce thing on the end of this. Uh, so if we put if we put a, a 45 degree slope out of the friction flubber, the green flubber, well we're gonna we're, we're, we'll do two different kinds and you'll see the difference in behavior. So we need a bearing, barong, a controller. Uh, we're also gonna need a bearing here as well. Ah, eh, something like that. Hmm. Hmm. This might be a problem, guys. I don't know. Is it the ice? It shouldn't be the ice here. It's probably the ground that it's uh, freaking out about. Yeah, seems like it. Alright. Alright, we're gonna have to do this a little bit differently. See you later, Block. Um, yeah, we're just... Jeez. Alright. New ice. One block higher. Is this actually attached to the ground? Can I just detach it? Where's the corner? Seems like it's right here. Did I get it? No. Not yet. Excavation! Why can't I pick this thing up? Like, where where is this ground collision at? <laughs> Got it. Oh my god, it was right here. <laughs> nope. Nope. Whatever, man. Whatever. Let's just let's just build some new ice. One of the worst things about being a, a problem solver is when you insist upon a solution that 
just isn't solving the problem. All right, all right. So finally, we're gonna test what happens when you send something off a 45 degree thing. Don't know who asked for it. But we're finally gonna test it. All right, where's the green flubber? We're gonna need some of that. <clears throat> All right, that's blue 45 and red 45. All right, here we go. So again, um, bounce values are multiplied with other bounce values. So for something that has no bounce value at all, like uh, all the default parts in Scrap Mechanic, nothing will bounce. It, it, it will, the interaction between the two materials will be like as if there's nothing. And I know that's a little bit confusing for some people because, um, oh, the, wait, this is actually good. This is actually good because now I can show you the difference between the two flubber blocks. Like as if we removed the bounds from flubber just to show you that one of them has friction while the other one does not. See that the barrel climbs right up that and rolls off. Climbs right up and rolls off. That's friction at work. And then over here, I know your balls have bounds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and over here, see, it'll still be trying to roll up, but sliding down. That's zero friction. So anyway, I know it's a little bit confusing because um, friction and bounce are two different things. And by default, everything has friction. So you're multiplying of a, of a value of one with everything. So. <laughs> the beha the default behavior is, um, you know, different. But see, for example, when you take bouncy blocks and you stick them on uh, ice blocks, the in the resulting interaction is multiplied by zero because one of the blocks has zero bounce. It's a little bit confusing, but, I mean, you'll get it. Don't even worry about it. Y'all get it. It's not going to be on a any test. All right. So what happens? Uh, this one, I predict it's gonna bounce almost directly upwards, I think. Like the pink one. And then the green one is probably gonna be bouncing backwards, if anything. Just because the friction has grip to it. Or, or they're both just gonna bounce straight up. Except that the one that made contact with the green is gonna have some front spin to it. Just because of, like, it, it grips the thing before bouncing so it has some front spin. I don't know. What do you guys think? Put your, you know, what's your predictions? Is it going to go forward? Is it going to go up? We're going to do the pink one first. Is it going to go forward? Is it going to go up? Or is it going to go bounce back? Three choices. Off of it like a, like a ramp. Straight up. Or somehow bouncing back. Durf, explain stuff so we all understand some random SM YouTuber. We look at him if he's explaining big math. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's gonna go in another galaxy, fly into oblivion. I mean, I ha I'm not using the flubber balls. Although I could. Trick question. We're gonna be testing both of them at once with a mattress. <laughs> I actually don't know which one that hit. <laughs> All right, all right, get out of here, get out of your mattress. You're not needed. <clears throat> all right, all right. Use the flubber balls. Nah, that's after. It's gonna go in another galaxy. I kind of think the pink one's gonna go forward. All right, gonna warp through. Yeah, that's scrap mechanic for you. So let's try to hit it a little bit slowly. Just see, forward, you know, zero friction bounce. What happens? Boing. Oh. Oh, it went pretty much straight up, it, but like a little bit forward. Like it bounced off the bottom of the ramp, made it all the way to the top. So I'm not sure who's right. Is that up or forward? I don't know. Definitely didn't go back though. 
Let's try a little bit faster. Ha! Huh. Really? Is it gonna be the same result no matter what speed? Is it like just the angle that prevents it from making it over? I can't tell. There we go. That's going over. Come on. What? 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 That actually... What? <laughs> what? Why does something different happen every time? Use spud gun instead of hammer. It gives much more speed. Um... Oh, that's another update, actually, with the uh, with the mod pack beta that I forgot to mention in the other stream. All the sports balls uh, used to be like super lightweight to the point where, um, like it was a problem to use them. Like the spud gun would just send them flying, but now they don't. Now they behave a lot more normally, except for that one. The tiny ones are still, you know, one by one by one, so they're still they're still lightweight no matter what no matter what you do, they're still lightweight. Just because they're tiny. Huh. I could have sworn that had bounce to it. That's a flubber ball, isn't it? I'm pretty sure if we hit it into that rock over there, it's gonna bounce. For sure. For sure. Um, whatever. I missed. <laughs> I missed the rock. Okay. Let's go test that green flubber, and then we're going to go back. Uh, you could build a pinball machine. You know, I really want to. <laughs> I really want to. And I, I people are probably going to end up doing that uh, long before I update the, uh, the polygons for, like, a zero friction polygon pack. But uh, I'm also going to want to build a, a, a pinball machine after the polygons are updated. Hello, Durf. What do you think about game when you control RC mechanisms like car and drones? There probably will be three models. Sandbox Race Arena. What do you think? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's what I think. All right. Time to test uh, the green flubber. What happens? Pretty much the same thing, actually, except we have much less of our speed returned to us. Interesting. Interesting. So that friction is actually playing a huge part on the speed. So then what happens if I give this some backspin? Oh, it bounces back. Ooh. So the friction on a high friction surface like spin actually has a huge, huge effect. Yeah, and that's why that's why I need to update the friction setting for the basketball. Cause like you know, everyone when they're like a little kid, they throw a basketball with like a ton of backspin just so that it uh, bounces right back up to them. Everybody knows that trick. Everybody, no exceptions. All right, so how about some front spin? Top speed, top speed, front spin. That was a really high bounce, and it went forward. Much more forward than the other one, too. So it seems like then, um, yeah, the difference between the two flubbers, like, this one really does not care at all what your, <laughs> what your spin is. Doesn't matter what you're trying to do with your spin, either. Or if you're trying to grip a uh, grip with your wheels, like you're just gonna bounce either way. And this one, you can actually control the direction of your bounce based on your spin. That's actually kind of cool. Pretty useful for certain things. All right, let's actually get uh, get to that experimental idea that has nothing to do with uh, what we're showing off today. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I'm missing something. I need... There it is. There it is. Don't need any of these, as far as I know.
All right, so you guys might be uh, might be wondering what I'm what I'm doing here. You are gonna go on that side, uh, along with this and this. You are going right here. First person to guess what I'm doing successfully. Gets, uh, gets big pee pee. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Making an electric box? Nah. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to that later. Um. Let's do just one. I actually might need a regular logic gate. Oh no wait, I don't. I don't need any of that. Because... Should be able to just do this. Yeah! Cool. Alright, so setting length with WS. Hmm. <laughs> Control of a box with gyroscope, right? Hmm. Is it Flubber Battlebots that spin? Zero G train, pod racer, remote anti gravity rope connected thing. Oh, some people are pretty close. Balloons, flying dragon, I guess, from Dragon Ball. Hmm, you're making a slime. <laughs> okay, um, no, I, I, I really gotta think this through a little bit. Can I, uh... Oh, okay, cool. I can, uh, do something really silly, like put this on top of the other thing. Alright, let's put, um... Let's put some little legs on this, then. Since we're gonna need that. Okay, this is gonna be receive mode. We're gonna do... A switch. And that just turns on, turns on the thing, which is set for negative uh, one. All right, a drone, a flail, a controlled nuke, RC Walker, intermingled particles. <laughs> RC box walker, ping pong, <laughs> maybe. No, 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 no. We're we're actually uh, pretty close to done already. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's actually. I think we can do our first test already. I mean, it's not complete, but uh, it's 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 as complete as it can be right now. I think. <laughs> All right, so if I oh oh I kind of need to connect the switch. Oh oh, you know what else? Um, I forgot a pretty major important part. White and black logic input. Got it. Would help if I actually did the thing to my seat. Okay, there we go. So white, um, wow, I hit the switch by mistake. I think I'm kind of lucky that it didn't, uh, it didn't do what I expected it to. And 
I think I need a logic gate in between. Which doesn't really make sense, but okay. Is this in proper send mode? I think so. Okay, there we go, there we go. Top half is anti-gravity. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, there we go, attach my rope. Haha, <laughs> yes. All right. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting certain connections, there we go. Oh no. So the people who were, um, oh, oh gosh. The people <laughs> who were guessing hot air balloon or something. I don't know what you're guessing. It's a little bit too quick for the rope adjustment. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a little bit too quick. All right, let's uh, abort, abort, go back down. Detach, we don't need you attached anymore. Um, I'm gonna make this, uh, there we go. That's the only thing that I wanted to change. Except, uh, okay, well, there's something else I wanted to add. Uh, why aren't you letting me do the thing? Hmm. I mean, it doesn't matter where I attach it, right? Shouldn't matter. Alright. So now pressing uh, WS should... Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. I don't know why, like, it, it feels delayed when I try to adjust my rope length. But now that I did, like, a decimal level, oh, this is so much smoother. Derf, did you see the new post in Scrap Mechanic Twitter? Uh, I did, actually. And, I mean, I don't know, my review, is it rope? Rope is a modpack beta part, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, with the power of rope, I can make what I always needed. All right, well, this was supposed to be an anti-gravity hot air balloon idea. It's sort of working. Now the now the issue is, how do I move around, right? Where, like, how do I... I am uh, subject to the... to the wind, the direction of the wind. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Gonna head out and have gonna ha have fun and thanks for humoring my idea there see, see you later light deck i still <laughs> still didn't pay attention to your response what your idea was <laughs> uh but hey all the uh, all the mod pack stuff um rubber block the ice stuff and the the new wheels at the bottom there this frictionless reduced thing that's all public right now uh we almost have two hours right now yeah yeah i have about uh, 10 minutes left for today's stream Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think, uh... Build Bouncy Giraffe while you can. You see... You see, Scrappy, that's a, that's a great idea. That's a really great idea. But somebody else also suggested uh, Giraffe Centipede. Right? And, like, what happens also if I make a Giraffe um, have, zero, like, friction frictionless feet? You know, that's going to look extra silly, too, so... I think we're gonna save these ideas for a dedicated giraffe stream and we'll just we'll get all these ideas out in one stream I don't know what do you think what do you think bouncy because there's like a lot of different giraffes ideas bouncy giraffe frictionless giraffe and like I definitely don't have the time to do all of them right now uh, but something else we can do right now probably within it's probably gonna take more than 10 minutes if I get bouncy giraffe now I mean, I could just spawn in a... Oh, wait, I don't have... I can't spawn in a Giraffe. Uh, where... Oh, there ye be. 
Oh, somebody else also asked me. Said there's a suggestion about like teleporting. I think I I could have included the engineer's toolbox to build that thing right now. Like orient block plus blink block is teleport where you look. I completely forget <laughs> what suggestion. Like I, I forget what the suggestion was. I just remember the technical details of the build though. Anyway, um, Jeref. All right, we're gonna start with the uh, herding giraffe, because this this is the uh, natural behavior of giraffe. He just sort of explores the world on his own, and uh, you know if you get too close to him, he tries to avoid you, and you can herd him around, get him to go certain certain directions. Maybe he's not he's not uh, super articulated, so. It'll take him a while, but he'll get there. All right, so then what happens when, um, you know, the problem, the problem is that, yeah, we're probably gonna build it out of the friction stuff. Probably gonna build it out of the friction stuff. Hey Durf, can you make wheels with ice mod? If you can, why don't you make a mem challenge? What the heck are you even saying, dude? <laughs> what? <laughs> Durf giraffe hurting mm. Um, you guys gotta leave all these comments on their videos, cause they don't. <laughs> They don't care what suggestions I get in my comment section. <laughs> to put it put it very bluntly, they don't. <laughs> so you guys have to spam their comment section with uh, play MM with mods or whatever. If you actually want to see that, they need to actually see that because I I'm getting the I'm the one that's getting all those suggestions. And when I uh, when I bring it up, I don't know if they don't believe me or if they just don't care. <laughs> they don't. They just don't see any of those suggestions themselves. So let's go, army. <laughs> All right, so uh, Giraffe has zero bounce. He's supposed to have zero bounce. What? <laughs> what? There's a Giraffe in the world somewhere now. Really? Okay, okay, that was a fluke. A fluke. It's not supposed to happen like that. It's just a fluke. Just a fluke. <laughs> Giraffe teleports behind you, yes. Okay. Uh, this is going to affect the weight a little bit, too. Darn. Darn, ding, 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 darn. Um, uh, I mean, let's do the simple solution, I think. There you go. There you go, simple solution. So the weight of the legs is still in place. Um, we're gonna do a line of bounce here. A couple bounce blocks here and here. And uh, oh, I can't I can't do a full line on the back. It's gotta be like a little little bouncy butt cheeks. All right, we're just like giving him little bounce zones, I guess. All right, all right, that's the best we can do in the uh, time that we have allotted. Let's um. Not much bounce for uh. For regular ground, I mean it, it. You can tell it is bouncing a little bit, but hmm, not much different actually. Kinda 
Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. That's something. <laughs> That's something new. Hmm. If anything, it's, like, more disabled. We can very easily catch the drift now. All right, get bouncy drift on bouncy ground. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be two super bounce multiplied by super bounds. So something's gonna happen here, uh, like for sure, one hundred percent. How dare the flubber not be posted, Craftmaster? Stop trying to rush me. You're gonna get worse stuff if you do that. Like, you actually want a complete update, or you want uh, something that's broken and glitchy? <laughs> like, I, I, I get that you're excited, but... I You know, I'm not even giving sneak peeks to my Patreon supporters. I, like, the, the, these updates are going straight to public. Right? I'm doing it as fast as I can, so... <laughs> be patient. Alright. Well, I probably should have saved that giraffe on my lift. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> like I can't the, the drift is like ac probably actually gone from the world how many how many like times did this happen to me this stream where my luck was just terrible right what was your favorite moment of this stream <laughs> which which bad luck moment was your favorite Let me know uh, in the comments section if you're watching the, the VOD. Ah, uh, this is also a pretty good toboggan hill right here. Alright, I think uh, I think we're just gonna slide down some hills <laughs> for the final, final but, uh, bit or whatever. And I think uh, we have a, a few stream ideas for the next one too. Finally gonna do Tile Editor for... Uh, Trying to design my own bobsled race. Got a giraffe stream coming up. Still gotta do fan creations. I still gotta do my best creations of 2019. I gotta do I gotta do my best creations of 2019 before it's 2021 already. Alright, alright, here we go. Top of the hill. Top of the hill, sled. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do the uh, the wing sled. I don't want the uh, the sled with little pegs for feet. There's all sorts of ways that you can design a sled in this game, but okay, there we go. Just get some momentum, and then this should be good. This should be good. So right now I'm steering with uh, wing blocks. We steer this way. Oh, I don't have enough momentum. It's okay, just go. Um, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> turn, 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 turn. Go back up, go back up. Go back up, go back up. I want to stay, I want to stay on the path. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> go back up. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, all right, this time we're following the path. Go! Go! Oh my gosh, why is this so difficult? Oh, it's because I need speed for these wings to work. I need actual speed. There we go. Don't hit the bush. Don't hit the bush. I hit the bush. <laughs> oh, this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, again, just the, uh, the the mod pack updates are out. Make sure you go check those out today. Mod pack beta updates are going to be coming soon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to end the stream super quick. Bye, everyone. Bye.